Hey everyone, welcome back to Of Ash and Dust. I realized something, or more like I came to a conclusion at the end of the last episode. I'm not in the mood to fight either Gwendolyn or go to the Painted World yet, so I think we are going to head up into Anor Londo. Not Anor Londo, the Duke's Archives. Yeah, just not in the mood for either Gwendolyn or Painted. Um, although these areas might be very different to their vanilla versions. Still. You know, I realized something, and it's something I need to correct. That I've barely used my pyromancies since getting the Great Sword of Artorias. I kind of suspected that that, one, that was gonna happen. Oh, fuck. Ugh. I should have just come here. <laughs> Alright then. Alright. Thinking of all the pain I suffered fighting that um, lost Isolith Titanite demon, that was painful, man. Like, the video does not properly reflect how painful that was. And there's three of these shits here. Oh well. For my next Ash and Dust playthrough, I'm sure I'm going to remember that. Naisu. Last piece of the gargoyle puzzle. Yeah, Duke's Archives. I'm wondering what they're gonna do with this place. I'm thinking what they can do, like... In terms of the area, aside from like shuffling enemies around, I don't know. No boars, but also no bonfire. Which I think was the exact same situation. Oh, nice. I always... Okay, this time around I don't actually have one. <clears throat> that kind of sucks. Usually al almost always had one when I thought I didn't have one. But this time I actually don't have one. Which means that we have to find the bonfire legit. I think this bursting fire thing sucks. I equipped it for some reason, but I think it just like... I don't know. I mean, when it hits normally, it still does good damage, but I just don't see where this splitting would ever be. Okay, I guess, maybe. Maybe never mind. Are you thinking of ambushing me? Listen, I've played Dark Souls 2's DLCs. I know all about ambushes. Specifically re referring to DLC 3. So I'm assuming if you somehow can get the thing to split. and hit the enemy. I'm guessing this thing would be pretty powerful. And I just don't see... Interesting there's silver... What the shit? Interesting that there's silver knights here. Oh, that's why that does so much damage. And this is gonna suck. I don't have... Interesting bonfire plate. Again, wasn't this the same in um, Daughters of Ash? I'm pretty sure. All these, man. These mod makers really like Ash, don't they? Anyways, I'm gonna kindle this bitch. Even though, mm, was that worth it? Probably not. Whatever. Anyways. This is gonna be the... Not the first episode in a while. I just haven't recorded in some time. Just wasn't. Just not how it was, you know. The boy has. Whoa! Okay. Yeah, I just stunned that bitch. The boy has other hobbies as well. 
mainly s sitting around and looking at depressing memes on reddit I'm only kidding but no no like just I've been like very into I'm always into music but I've been like doing music stuff recently Ableton Live 11 is out I have it I had the upgrade from Ableton Live 10 and it was just dope, you know, it's just dope. Ah, oh, shit. So I'm assuming this is still gonna like function how it always functions, which means that for once in my life, I'm going to actually come in here prepared okay I'm just gonna give it a shot because what if it's different this time it's not different this time around and Oh, okay, dope. That's actually dope. Did they do it in a way where you don't have to die? Hey, mod makers, G fucking G, honestly. Honestly. I always found it annoying that this death is forced on you, and if you don't come prepared with a ring of sacrifice or something, you just basically screwed, you know. Oh, well, that's much. That's, that's way better. Way better. It's how it should have been. Okay, we've seen this cutscene. Yeah, this is annoying, this sound. It's like fucking, I don't know. Ambient synth noise or something. There was one, which was the playthrough where, where I was like stuck in here and like really struggling. I don't know, I think it might have been Daughters. Or one of the, whoa, okay, you deal more damage than I remember. One of the other million stupid playthroughs, what the shit, I've done over the years. Maybe this bursting flame is gonna shine here. Maybe it's not. But these things are weak to fire. Ouch. This shit does mad damage. So yeah, bursting flame did not shine here. Um... I'm starting... Oh, maybe Bursting Flame. The one place where you'll be useful. Hey, 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 it actually hit multiple things. I mean, it has range. I think that's like the... Oh, fucking hell. Seriously? It's like... Almost a speedrunner tactic. Because this is the type of shit they pull. Or like use to get out of bounds. You are not dead. So yeah, I was gonna say, I am starting to suspect that maybe Bursting Flame is maybe not very good. Maybe, just maybe. Artorius' sword, on the other hand, is very, very, very good. Okay, shut down fucking... hipster ambient music here. It's 
It's like that Lou Reed album. That's just noise. Metal Machine Music, I think it's called. Or it's just like a fuck you to the record company. Appreciate it when people did shit like that still. Okay, what if I leave you? Well, I don't know. Maybe it's better to put these two out of their miseries. Oh, holy fuck. I mean, that R2 is never ever gonna hit, but... In the off chance that it does, it sure as shit does damage. And hey, the boy actually did not forget to start a timer or like check his phone before starting the recording. So I can actually properly paste this episode. There's no way there's a fucking chest up there. Um. You know what my question is gonna be? Oh. I totally get it. It's what you call light platforming in the business. Imagine making this a mimic. That would have been... Hey, hey! Dope. Kinda. Yeah, weird thing, like, embers and... Firekeeper souls are, like, difficult to come by. Can't believe I'm only on Estus plus one. Maybe that's just how it's intended to be, and you gotta kill them fire keepers to get higher Estus. But I don't know. It's kind of weird. So we got the extra key, which does not. Oh fuck! Yep. If you can cheat, I can cheat. I never, like, ever do this. This key is pretty easy to get in vanilla as well, it's just... I don't tend to bother because there's never anything good in here. Including these two cells just, like, linking to each other. But hey. There is something up there. Is that? That can't be the hollow. What's her name? Not made in Estrella, but you know what her name is. And there's shit down there too. Which we can also somehow get to. There's actually quite a few secret kind of locations here throughout this whole place. And people don't tend to really have a look around here. But maybe this time... Who is... Is that Domal of... That's Domal of Xena. Yeah. Xena warrior princess, sure as shit. Cool. So after the dramatic door opening, let's first things. F okay, okay, I, I switch my rings. I was just thinking, am I stupid? But hey, I wasn't. Mm. Hold on a second then. What? Wait, how do you get over the... Interesting go. I like genuinely don't know. Whatever. Hey, listen, I care, but not that much. This is an interesting enemy. Not combination, but... It's 
it's kind of weird putting silver knights here. Double kill. I mean, it kind of makes sense, but then again, it kind of doesn't. I mean, I'm willing to bet that some of them spilled through from an Orlando up here. Grizzly of Xena. Holy shit. A new NPC invader. I did not know we had these. Fuck. Hate when these idiots teleport away. That was my last Estus, and we have an invader. Okay. I might be in slight trouble here. Depending on how goddamn annoying this invader is gonna be. Can I hear him? Or her? This is gonna be one of these high D NPCs. Cause that's gonna be a problem. One of these high D ones, that's like the real purpose is that you can't hit up the bonfire. I think that's what we're gonna have on our hands. Because I genuinely don't see this fool. I mean, I thought I heard his footsteps, but apparently not. This is, this is a large area, you know. There's a lot of places he could be. Hmm. Uh, I don't like hiding NPCs. And these are kind of the ones that are like... Their only purpose is to prevent you from hitting up the bonfire. But that's not gonna be an issue because we are dead. I was just gonna say I'm gonna fucking die, aren't I? 60k souls too, and that's like... Nothing to laugh at. Okay, I'm gonna be real with you guys. We might have to go through this area normally. Uh, as in hollow form. Hit the bonfire. And then try and fight Griswold or whatever his name was. Yeah, I think that's what's gonna happen. Let me try parrying. Like, I haven't parried in so long. I say as I'm about to get fucking killed. Okay, let's have a backstab then. I think what we're gonna do is we are going to try and use a uh, Divine Blessing. There you go. Can't complain about me not using items this time. I've like broken my item use personal record for Dark Souls because I've used Elizabeth Mushrooms. Like, hey. There's always some personal development, you know. Don't even think... Oh, the iframes. That is a cheating ass teleport. It's like a scorpion teleport starts up on frame one. Frame one invincibility. Oh shit. Listen, 60k souls is 60k souls. 
No matter what stage of the game this is. In fact, I should go back and get my 60k souls and then come up here. Yeah, let's try not to fuck around too much. Interesting. Something actually died from fall damage. Very, very rare. So I'm still curious about what that item is. I'm ready to be disappointed. It's just... What if it's something good? It's not good. It ain't. But hey, at least... Look at that soul counter. It's no longer blocked by my face cam. I was such an idiot. I had it in the bottom right corner like a dumbass. Hey, listen, I'm new to this YouTube streaming thing. I've only been doing it for like four years. Speaking of the streams, um, I've finally gotten around to fixing my settings. So if my computer can handle it, starting next stream, i.e. tomorrow, Ashen, fuck. We're gonna have 280p. 1080p, baby. Yeah, we have 280p. I stream in a unique resolution. 280p. People don't know, but it's the future, you know. It's just I'm... I'm ahead of the curve, you know. Okay, fair enough. I won't mind the Ring of Sacrifice that I'm actually never gonna use because I never die. I only go on. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's just one of those days. One of those yawny days. Um. Oh, fucking seriously. I was just about to say. God damn it. I was just about to say that the safety railing there does not look up to OSHA standards. And it turns out it wasn't. Falling from height is a major hazard in the workplace. So just be careful, you know. Yeah, I'm hollow now. Not that I wasn't hollow before, it's just... I think my character feels hollow now. So yeah, um, what was I saying before? Oh yeah, that it's just one of those days, man, like... I don't know about you boys, but here the weather has been absolutely oh, and it's turned god that frame one invincibility is insane uh, the weather here has been absolutely well shit there's no other way to put it the issue is it's the end of fucking March and It sure as hell doesn't feel like it. We've been stuck in like beginning of March weather for a long while now and 
kind of getting sick of it. Plus, it's been like not even sunny. At least it was sunny up to this point. I ain't even sunny. Listen, I'm not even British and I'm like constantly fucking talking about the weather. The weather and food are like two major topics. And before you make any jokes about me being Hungarian, listen, I've heard them all before. Finally, fuck you and your frame one invincibility. Wait, did this turn? Oh, because they're linked. They're linked. Okay, let me go and fix this fucking railing here. What the hell? Alright. She just couldn't take it anymore. It's sad, you know. Suicide is never the answer. Not even a year into COVID lockdowns. You know what my question is gonna be, or like, rhetorical of course, but... Where the absolute shit is the bonfire? Oh, it's there! Okay. Yeah, straight up. They just straight up put it where it's meant to be. Nice. -oo. Okay, 80k. Two levels. Ah. Uh, that's what we're gonna get. And we are definitely kindling this one. The question is, do I want to bother with that invader? I guess it's he's gonna invade anyways. God, why am I so bad at managing the menu system of this game, even this? Even this many playthroughs in? I have no idea. Yeah, the question is, is he gonna invade? Like Archibald of Zeno, Zena or whatever his name was. I think our... I knew this fucker was here. I had such a feeling. Oh, this dude is a bitch. <laughs> Welp. Or I'm super powerful. It's just the dude. Made into a dark spirit. God, this weapon is strong. Yeah, there's no way this thing wasn't buffed. And this is 100% is stronger than it is in vanilla. And again, I'm not complaining. I've always said that it kind of felt weird and was weird that the Artorias weapons were kind of underpowered. I mean, this is... This is the poster child of the game series, or at least this game that you're talking about. And his sword is just kind of, just kind of does bitchly damage. I'm pretty sure I already fucked up the Zigurd quest line. Actually, I'm not sure. It doesn't matter if the bed of chaos is dead, right? Cause she sounds like you hear it differently in the headphones like because you know when I'm recording off the PS4 I have my TV turned quite low she sounds like she's like fucking 10 like what the hell is she doing here I've seen him so 
so anyways that's like the order of business for today which makes a perfect half an hour long episode that is an interesting item placement a bold jump that was a bold jump so I'm going to go ahead and slowly start wrapping up today's little vid I'm gonna leave the description of the new ring as a cock block clickbait for the next episode um, so wrapping it up here blah, God, I can't even talk wrapping it up here thank you guys very much for watching Hope you enjoyed today's episode of Daughters of Ash. As always, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Turn on post notifications to stay up to date with my stream. Streaming tomorrow, 1080p. Be there, 9pm Central European time. Peace out and goodbye.